In this remote northwestern corner of China is a town at the center of the country's AI ambitions. We are going to uh, go there to see how is the construction going and basically get a better understanding of how these data centers fit in with the overall strategy uh, for China to build its AI capabilities. The Xinjiang region is sensitive. China's been accused of human rights abuses against its ethnic Uyghur population. Foreign journalists who go here are monitored. There seems to be a white car following us. I'm not sure what it is. This barren area is becoming central to China's push for AI supremacy over the US. A Bloomberg News investigation has revealed these data centers aim to install more than 115,000 high-end US-designed chips, chips which are supposed to be banned from entering China. I found that there's one local government in Xinjiang which approved more than 30 investment projects late last year. And these investment projects all entailed using high-end chips from NVIDIA. These are chips that China has not been able to access for multiple years. The documents contain no explanation of how they would get the chips. You can only legally send those chips to China with a US government license. So, are these companies bluffing? Or can Chinese data centers readily get their hands on the world's most restricted semiconductors? If this development goes as planned, and they are filled with these kinds of chips, it just goes to show how difficult or really impossible it is to stop Chinese companies, government entities, from buying these things. In order to uh, investigate what was happening, my colleague James Major and myself, we decided to fly out to Xinjiang. And where we were going was a little bit uh, more to the north. The Yiwu County, which is the epicenter of the data centers, is another two-hour drive. Billions of dollars in data centers are being built in this remote area. This is key infrastructure in China's push to become a global leader in AI by 2030. For the last decade, Beijing's invested heavily in high-tech industries, and some are starting to pay off. Chinese AI startup DeepSeek has rocked to global technology stocks, really raising questions over America's tech dominance. For the first time, a Bloomberg investigation has exposed the scale of China's AI build-out in the Northwestern desert and the potential role of banned US chips. Based on my data analysis and data sourcing, I found that China is building huge data centers in Xinjiang. The data center will use NVIDIA servers and chips. Project approval documents show local governments in Xinjiang and in neighboring Qinghai have greenlit a total of 39 data centers that intend to use more than 115,000 banned NVIDIA processors. NVIDIA H100 and H200 chips are the industrial standard for training large language models. A US ban was supposed to keep them out of China. But Bloomberg's been unable to verify whether the data centers actually have access to these chips. It's possible the companies are making claims they can't deliver. Chinese companies sometimes have a pattern of pursuing the start of infrastructure projects that are not ultimately completed. But you also have to take seriously that these documents say that they want to do this and that the construction is happening in a region that has a lot of the other resources and infrastructure necessary to support an AI data center build out. Initially, the data centers were happy to invite us in to see their server rooms, but the invitation was quickly revoked. We originally agreed with one of the companies that they would speak to us and they would even allow us to go inside the, the construction site to see how it's progressing. But at the last minute, that visit was canceled. Without getting inside the data centers and seeing their hardware, it's difficult to know for sure whether they have the chips they claim. The US has effectively banned those chips from export to China since 2022. They can do this because the most advanced chips are designed in the US and controlled by US law. The restrictions are really on advanced semiconductors that could have um, potential military applications. And the goal is really to sort of choke uh, China's AI sector and, and its broader AI ambitions. 
The US wants to maintain its technological edge, and keeping advanced chips out of China is critical to achieving that. America is the country that started the AI race, and as President of the United States, I'm here today to declare that America is going to win it. But despite the tough talk, the White House has loosened some restrictions. In July, it announced it would allow an inferior chip called the H20 to be exported to China. Not to be confused with the H100 and H200, this chip is good enough to be competitive, but inferior enough to keep China a generation behind in chip design. These data centers challenge US policy because they claim to be able to get over 115,000 of the most restricted chips. But can they? I talked to more than a dozen people who are familiar with US government investigations into this issue over the past handful of years. And my question to them was, are you aware of a smuggling network that is capable of procuring over 100,000 banned NVIDIA chips into China? And all of them said no. Meanwhile, NVIDIA say there's no evidence their advanced chips are being smuggled into China and argue even if they were, it wouldn't work because keeping the chips running requires NVIDIA's technical support, which they're not offering. The question is, are the Chinese companies capable of procuring these models on a grand enough scale to fulfill these ambitions that are crucial to Beijing's AI agenda? Bloomberg News has not found evidence that China has amassed or can amass such large numbers of banned NVIDIA chips. Yet, in Iwu, the construction goes on. If these data centers actually are going to be completed and can guess the amount of chips they specified in the investment plans, then it proved that U.S. government so far has not been able to stop China developing their high tech and especially AI industry from the supply side. This is the NVIDIA H100 Hopper GPU, long the most sought after chip in the world. This small square has 80 billion transistors inside and is designed for machine learning. It's critical hardware if you want to develop AI tools. And it was banned from export to China by US authorities before it was even launched in 2022. The way U.S. officials describe this is a small yard high fence. So their aim is really to not disrupt the entire semiconductor ecosystem and the entire semiconductor industry, but really focus on choking off uh, sort of advanced semiconductors that could be used for AI applications from getting into China. China's created a colossal $48 billion semiconductor investment fund to build up its chip manufacturing. But despite the money, it still can't match other manufacturers. The precision required is so advanced, it's, it's kind of like landing on the moon, I would say, and I don't think that's an overstatement at all. It requires, you know, the use of uh, very specific lasers through sort of a web of mirrors, um, and the technology is really mind-boggling. It's very, very difficult to do, you know, even if China is trying very hard, they're still multiple generations behind. So I think that really creates, obviously, a very high in-demand product. This Bloomberg investigation shows, despite the advances in Chinese semiconductor manufacturing by the likes of Huawei, Chinese firms still aspire to buy massive volumes of banned NVIDIA chips. One NVIDIA's H100 chips can achieve maybe three to four times more of the computing power from the local design chips. So that's how NVIDIA chips has been sought after in China. By Huawei's own account and that of several U.S. government officials, the best Chinese chip, the Huawei Ascend series, is still at least a generation behind. China's chip manufacturing is still playing catch up. When or even if China can equal the U.S. is a hotly contested issue. But in spite of the technical hurdles, China's AI models are beating expectations. DeepSeek upended the perception of Chinese AI overnight. The company claimed it had used lower efficiency chips, ones that were legal to sell to China for almost a year, to train its large language model. But not everyone's so sure. Washington suspects that they may have had access to H100s, and DeepSeek has also expressed interest in these facilities that theoretically would contain H100s. They don't need them 
they obviously want them. An employee of one of the large investors in the Iwu site told Bloomberg DeepSeek has already expressed interest in cooperating. Bloomberg reached out to DeepSeek for comment, but they did not respond. China's technology ambitions might begin at home, but they spread around the world. China really wants to lead the world here, uh, not just you know, close the development gap with the US, but be a leader. They really want the rest of the world, and especially the global south and emerging markets, to really be relying on Chinese AI technology and using Chinese AI products and relying on their AI infrastructure. But China's strategic rival across the Pacific is also investing colossal sums in AI. NVIDIA alone has promised half a trillion dollars of investment in US chip manufacturing. So how do these desert data centers compare? Can China really match up against the US? For comparison, we have 115,000 some chips across these two complexes in the Chinese desert. The first data center for Stargate, which is this Trump-backed open AI endeavor with a bunch of other American companies to build a whole bunch of data centers on American soil, would involve 400,000 of NVIDIA's best chips, the generation ahead of the models that the Chinese companies are seeking. But these sites represent just the tip of China's data center iceberg. Sites like this are being built across the country. DeepSeek took the world by surprise, and China's hoping it can do it again.